The Lakers lose to the Clippers without LeBron. What's up, y'all? I'm Kyle Downey. This is the Sports Download. So, yeah, the Lakers lose on Tuesday night against the Clippers without LeBron. They put up some fight, but they still lost. Uh, it was it was close at points, but the Clippers pretty much controlled the game. They pretty much had it under control, unfortunately. I hate to say it. The Clippers are really annoying. It's so it spotlights over street lights, all right? Anyway. That that really was a really annoying marketing plan and it was really not smart and tone deaf. LA is the Lakers town. Anyway, I digress. So yeah, Darvin Ham shot this team in the foot uh last night, uh figuratively. Uh Tuesday night I'm recording Wednesday night. So he shot the team in the foot by not starting Vando. I'm a proponent of starting Vando. He he would fit pretty well again. He would fit pretty well next to D'Lo and Austin Reeves. It would add balance and defense. And he did not start Vando. And Vando did play a good amount, but he should have played probably 30 minutes, considering that they have so many wings and you know. James Harden, Paul George, Kawhi, and then their other wings. You know what I mean? Like, they have so many guys. And Vando's our best perimeter defender. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, so, yeah, they lost. It was kind of expected without LeBron. LeBron will be back uh, for the next game. Well, he's questionable, but he'll probably be back. But Cam Reddish is listed as out. So, the next game is the Chicago Bulls. And that's a must win. Any game against a beatable opponent right now is a must win because they got to win games. If they want the trade deadline to help them out at all, they got to start winning games ASAP. They got to win games that are winnable and they lost a bunch because Darvin Ham is coaching really bad. Uh, just bad. I mean, I can only imagine what their record would be and where they would be at if he was making better decisions, but yeah, need Vando to start. Darvin Ham needs to stop tripping. Uh, I would personally want Darvin Ham to be fired with all due respect. It's just he ain't cutting it. And LeBron doesn't seem to be thrilled about him. Um, I don't think, you know, I don't think that the team is particularly thrilled except for Torian Prince and Cam Reddish because they get a lot of minutes. But I don't think the rest of the team is particularly thrilled. Um, it's just not, it's just not working out, but it doesn't seem like Darwin is going to get fired anytime soon. So they just have to win games sometimes in spite of him. And hopefully he'll make some better decisions. Hopefully somebody on his staff can help him out. Cause I can tell you, and I'm not, I, I know a lot about basketball, but I'm not a head coach level expert, but I mean, come on, like at least try putting Vando out there anyway. It's just very frustrating as a fan and as anybody who covers the team is even puzzled. So they just need to make some changes. They need to win these. They need to win these games that, and they got they got some games coming up that are winnable, and they're gonna be going on the road soon. So they gotta get they gotta get these wins because if they want the trade deadline to help them out at all, any trades to help them out at all, they have to win games still and. It's just frustrating and ninth place. Like I was talking to my dad earlier today and it's like, he's done such a bad job that they're in ninth place. They should be top six. I predicted that this team could be top four, top five earlier on in the season. And frankly, they should be, but frankly, they don't have Frank Vogel. They have Darvin Ham and he has not been doing any, doing them any favors. Um, it's just it just sucks because they fired a head coach that won a championship because of something that wasn't his fault in training for Russ, and now they're dealing with Ham. Just I don't know why he's not trying to do anything that was successful last year. I mean, not anything, but he's not trying to do, not trying to play Vando in a starting lineup, not trying to get Rui minutes. I could go on and on, but I won't. Basically, Lakers lost. They got some winnable games. They got to win the rest of these games. Hopefully they do. They had LeBron and AD healthy for a lot of games, and they didn't win them because of bad decisions. But hopefully they win. I'm always going to be rooting for them every single game.
For more content, follow me on TikTok and YouTube at The Sports Download. And tell your family and friends as well. Peace, y'all.